Hi, and welcome to another episode of My Life in 75 Square Feet. I'm Bob, and in today's episode, I'm going to talk about something, a vacuum cleaner that I purchased at the Tampa RV Super Show this year in 2020. Well, what's that? What did you say? Who said that? You're right. I did say in my other videos I was never going to go back to the Tampa RV show again. I guess curiosity killed me. Well, I'm still here. I'm still alive. So maybe it killed the cat. And this is an IQ 2-in-1 handheld. And I'm going to show it to you. And the way I got this, I got it for a little bit of a lower price. Don't tell anybody, but the box was a little beat up. Notice this box is a little dented. And I made friends with the guy there that sells these. And he told me he would never be able to get the normal $70 that he would get for this setup with the boxes the way they are. Now he guaranteed me they were brand new and there was nothing wrong with anything in here. So let's open the boxes up and let's see what's in here. After watching the demo at the RV show, if you have a camper van, uh, an RV or a boat and you have an inverter on it, I'm gonna tell you now, you need to get this thing. This thing is really, really good. This thing has some serious suction power. Now just to show you what I was using, here's a 12 volt Armor All vacuum and it plugs in to a cigarette lighter. Now I've been using this thing for about a year or so. See the cigarette lighter? All I gotta say is, at 12 volts, you're never gonna generate enough vacuum to vacuum anything up. This is a better vacuum than all the other 12 volt ones I saw. So let's open this up and see what it's inside. What did I hear you say? <laughs> it looks like it's already been opened. All right, I opened it up and I tried it out. I repackaged it. I hope I did a good job, but you get a little owner's manual so far. I haven't read this thing yet, but you probably need to know about cleaning it out. Here's the beater bar with actually out no beater in here, but it's a beater bar. Oh, and by the way, all the bo although the box was a little wrecked up, there wasn't one thing wrong with this at all. So here is the actual vacuum. Let's get rid of this box. I don't need that anymore. And the beater bar can go on there. Look at that. You got your little vacuum. Oh, by the way, this thing can turn too. So if you need to go under a bed, it can do that. You're going to need AC power. So you're going to have to have an inverter. Now what's in this little box? And let me tell you something about this. When you go online to buy this thing, they try to sell you this for a certain price, and then they try to charge you more money. What vacuum cleaner has its, its other pieces to it and they charge you for it? But here's one of the pieces, and it's just a little small suction. They give it two long, long poles. Two of them, long. So here's the other thing. We got two pieces here. We have one of these. And this piece could go on here if you need to have bristles. So look at that. You could have it either way. So we could have one of the extension tubes in here and that makes it a certain length. By adding the next extension, now look how long this thing is. It can't even fit in the camera. It's so long. You could use it up, totally upright. And it works pretty good. I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes. I just happened to have some dirt on the floor. How did all this stuff get here? Must be a plant. Here, here goes. Wow, just picked this stuff right up. 
Now, how about on the rug? Wow, it just lifts the rug right up. It picks this stuff up so quickly. Let's see how it picks this stuff up. Look how easy it is to clean this thing. No bags, no nothing. You just open this up, take this out, take out the filter. Wow. And then in here is all the dirt and you just dump it in the garbage. Well, here is my meter. Right now it's showing 1.5 amps, 1.4 amps. I'm gonna turn the vacuum on and watch what it goes up to. It went up to 46.1 amps. So let's just say 45 amps is what it used. So the way to calculate how many watts, because this thing claims it's 500 watts, okay? The way to calculate how many watts it really used, you take 45 and multiply that by the voltage of 12 volts. So 45 times 12 is almost 550 watts. That's like 540 watts. That's pretty good. There you have it, the IQ Handy Vac. IQ, it's pretty smart. The way I would suggest going to buy it, because there's probably no RV show near you, is to go online and do a search. IQ Handy, H-A-N-D-I, Vac. And you'll find it out there for $70. I got to tell you, it's worth the 70 bucks, Especially if you have an RV, a boat or some kind of van that you live in, definitely worth the money, but you need an inverter. Well, I really hope this helps some of you. And if you like this video, I encourage you to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask you to please subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified of my next videos. Until next time, have a happy.